fire. It's coming from, right? Uh, I mean, sometimes you maybe feel down and you like really feel like sharing it, and then sometimes you feel like watching it. So everything is ready. I'm ready to shoot another vlog. Still trying to wake up. I'm gonna make some beats. I'm gonna finish some client mastering I have. But first, I need to get a proper coffee. So let's go. at the, the weight and I need a counter melody as well for this one maybe some piano some piano arpeggios something like this uh, but otherwise stop melody until now let me open the sampler and throw one at the weight from my new kit I'm working on the biggest one until now I already made 65 sounds and more to come. So yeah, pretty dope. Yeah.
So I took a small break because my SD was full, all my batteries died, and yeah, I need to, <laughs> I need to charge them and empty my SD. So we are back and we are going to add drums to the beat and it's pretty much done. I don't know what else I'm gonna do. You're gonna see it at the end when I'm gonna play the beat. And yeah, uh, in other news, I finished my upload schedule for the these years. And I'm talking about the beats. So I have everything scheduled until the end of December and I already start working for the upcoming year. Also, because it's near the end of the year, I use some of my net income from beats and, and the studio work to buy some camera gear, some new microphones and lights. I'm trying to improve my setup and be better every time and every every dollar I make or hero <laughs> from music I try to invest it and improve my workflow my gear and everything I need to improve I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna save the money so yeah I don't spend that much the only thing I, I, the only thing I buy is coffee. So, yeah. Anyway, let's continue this beat. And yeah. <laughs> So, let me show you how to get some groove to your drums. Um, I have in front of me the waveforms of the drums. You can do it with MIDI as well, but for me, I understand it better with waveforms. You can do anything with MIDI as well. I don't, I don't say that, but it's easier with waveforms, and I'll show you why. So, the first thing I want to do is to cut this open hat right when the snare hits. The reason why, and you can see that there is a small part of the open hat here, and I don't need it because if the open hat stops when the snare hits, it makes the snare uh, be more up front. I'm gonna play with the hi-hat and the snare. So, this one, it's right on the grid. Why not move it just a bit? All right. And then we're going to do it for everything. Some can be just before. Some others a bit later. Close to the grid. We're not going too far with this. Just a small small moves that I like to do. So, before, and after. Kicks already start hitting better, and it's not that robotic. That's what I want to have on my drums. Also, you can do it with snares as well. So, to be out of time, we have plenty of space to play with our sounds. 
so let's move it just a bit forward not bad play with it do it as you like either either with midi or with uh, waveforms it's a good way to have more unique drum uh, rhythms and patterns than just add everything to the grid there's a function on logic pro that gives you give you this groove or in the um, the machine but i prefer to do it manually because i i'm doing it i, I can do it as i like and not with uh, pre-made grooves. Yeah, beat is almost finished. I'm gonna um, add a few more things, arrange it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. More to come. Now I finished my schedule for the beats. I'm going to focus more on the videos because I like to do them. I am gonna do the makey makey, I promise to you. And also let me know what you want to see in the upcoming videos. Uh, mixing tips, mastering tips, production tips, anything. Let me know. So have a good one. Appreciate you. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Smiling Bits Smiling